As most of you already know, not all hard-facing products are the same. I will cover many options in the hard-facing processes, such as the oxyacetylene torch options like hot and cold powder spray and brazing options, wear plates and metallic compounds containing hard-facing alloys. With hard-facing, you get what you pay for. What I mean by that is the better the quality of the alloying elements and the percentages of them greatly affects wear life. The three main considerations are alloy type, alloy percentages, and how the product is made. First is alloy type, or what is in the product. This could contain carbon, chromium, boron, tungsten, vanadium, molybdenum, or nickel. Each has a specific impact on the performance or characteristics of hard-facing products. Some hard-facing rods contain only a few alloying elements and in very small percentages. As an example, some have as little as 8 to 10 percent, but these can test at a high hardness of Rockwell C65. But due to the low alloy percentage, the wear life is not very long. This is one reason hard-facing can get a bad reputation, causing users to question the worth or value of hard-facing. Conversely, the better quality hard-facing products contain closer to 40% up to 60% of alloy content and the performance is much, much better. Another consideration is the product design. The different ways to manufacture the hard-facing products also greatly affects each product's performance or welding characteristics. The main types of electrodes are a solid core extruded coating, such as this one, solid core extruded coating containing alloying elements, such as this one, tubular core wire with dip coating with the alloying elements inside the tube, like these. The main differences in hard-facing wire are flux cord wire that requires covering gas and then flux cord wire that runs without gas. Another reason hard-facing performance can be less than desired is the application. For the best results, 